Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Conan and tonight's topic is Filipino inventors. And joining us still are two very interesting gentlemen from the Philippine Inventor Society. I'm talking about Dennis Alvarez, who's the chairman of the society and he's also president of IC Green Global Technology. And joining him is the uh, president of FIS, which is Mr. Borromeo Modanza. Gentlemen, yes, welcome back to our second segment. Thank you again. Okay. And uh, <laughs> alam niyo po, uh, the opening to the segment, uh, we showed a video of uh, like images yes. of uh, new invention, so to speak. Yung iba were funny, yung iba were, were practical. Now, um, what I want to ask you ho, is, um, you know, I know the Filipinos have contributed a lot to, to the world of inventions, no? but a lot of us don't know really what are the significant contributions. What are these significant contributions? Would you be able to tell us a little bit about what Filipinos have done? Well, I'm, I'm proud of Dr. Sara, no, who was the vice president of FIATI, but uh, one of the 10 scientists in his own time. He graduated from Paris University. Uh, no? on top of, uh, of the class. You know, so. he, he, invented, he invented the TV phone. In, 1960, in, in 1964, he, he, he demonstrated that between Malacanang and uh, DOST at the time, nasa Iran pa, sa UP, yung sa UP yes. ground. You know. he, the, the, the president and Dr. Sara were talking to each other on a TV phone. And this was adapted in our cell phone. <coughs> Filipino yan. Now, I, I, and Ilocano from, from Pangasinan also invented a, a, a IC, yung integrated circuit. Yes. Sa television. No? Sa, tele, sa television. Sa, eh, sa computer. Sa computer. Si, uh, si, doc, uh, si Engineer Odolio. Yes. Ano? And kung may support ng gobyerno noon, naunahan pa natin si Bill Gates. Kasi nauna siya sa computer chips eh. Yes, ano? yes. One prominent, I guess, one prominent uh, Filipino inventor is no less than the one creator of GPS, Jos Dado Banatao. Uh, he's, he's in the United yes. States. Yes. The GPS, the rolling signal for ways uh, and... Uh, yes. <laughs> it's uh, Jos Dado, Dado Banatao. He's, wow. uh, he's, he's king in, uh, in Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley, yeah. He's the king in Silicon Valley. Imagine Dado all homegrown talent, to, no? oh, I mean, really Filipinos, is. and yet, uh, you know, their, their inventions are, so uh, as you said, he's in, he's in America. So, so yung, yung, yung nakikinabag po, America. America. You know, I mean, it's, it's the, they're the ones benefiting now from all these uh, there's innovations. A, uh, after winning the uh, MPEX, there's an offer, uh, a, a fellow who is connected with uh, a generate, generation company that had offered <coughs> me. You know, Mr. Alvarez, I could offer that one in Taiwan. I do have a friend who's billionaire there. Uh, the least that you can get is about 20 million US dollar. Uh, looking at, it's at 20 million? Well, 20 million is 20 million. Wow. But when I reach home, try to imagine, it seemed to me that 20 million is about 800. Almost a billion pesos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a lot of well, money. Well, I guess uh, that this kind of product should benefit first and foremost Filipino. Uh, and the uh, Philippines as, as a whole. How about support from uh, DOST? I mean, is there any support? Is your group, because you are an NGO basically, yeah. no? NGO, I mean, yes. Are you receiving any support from DOST? Well, there or is a law that was lobbied by Filipino Inventor Society, the Republic Act 7459, the Inventors and Invention Incentives Act of the Philippines. Up until now, no, this law has not been fully implemented. Wala talagang, hindi, hindi, ka, hindi, ka, hindi ka vibes, yes. hindi ka vibes talaga. That's why we wanted to, 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 to pass this uh, bill, restoring the Philippine Inventors Commission under uh, House Bill 928 and Senate Bill 682. Kung ito ay ma-restore, sa palagay ko, magkaroon ng panibagong sitwasyon ng Inventors Now, Mr. Mondanza, you, you, you mentioned this initiative of yours, of your group, yes. sa Congreso, sa Senado. Yung, yung aking tanong po sa inyo, sino yung, meron ba kayong champions sa Kongreso Senado? Ibig sabihin yung champion po, alam natin yung yes. sabihin niya. Yung someone yes. who will really go on the floor and yes. push. Do, do or die. With the soul, <laughs> with the objective of pushing yes. the agenda of the inventors. None. Because none in none. the Congress. You cannot in the executive wow. department, in the, in the, in the administrative, you know. <coughs> wala. Wala. Sir, I think it's very zero. sad. Very sad. Mm. It's a very sad. Very sad. So, and it's sad because yeah. this know, is this is partly Filipino inventors' organizational initiative, <coughs> and for that matter, under its wing, 
ay individual initiatives din ng mga membro. On, 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 on our end with IC Green, we initiated a move to have a public-private public, pub, public ah. partnership with the uh, principals of secondary school. Ah, yeah, well, whereby okay, okay. the graduates of high school were taking, in, taking them in on our service center as, as our staff. And also that we are engaging with a sort of kind of uh, agreement with the principals that we gonna provide them with a alternative business to begin with this kind of uh, service and product uh, distributions of ICT. Interesting you should mention schools. Now, yung tanong ko po sa inyo, in terms of our education system, because, you know, people like you who think outside the box, I mean, invention, as you said, comes from thinking outside the box, being creative. Yes. And schools have a lot to do, have a lot to do yes. with this, with yes. training people to think, uh, you know, differently. Now, do you see in our Philippine school system, do you see it happening? Yeah. Basically, with this kind of agreement that we have, yeah. we would incorporate this technology that we have to the curriculum yes. of high school, uh, providing them with this kind of awareness that uh, the product, that part of the product uh, composition is coconut and that we should uh, help out. Yes. Uh, alleviate the life of coconut farmers. No, but um, okay, what I mean is usually because uh, the yung, yung model. It, yes. it has not been done there. Okay. Uh, thanks to Inventor Alvarez, he has initiated for the first time. Pero wala yan, wala. There is no effort, no. And in fact, our curriculum, no, has to be has to be revisited. In what way? To be to be a science and technology <coughs> oriented. 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 Right. No? right. And we have a professor from <coughs> Don Bosco University who is teaching, you know, and hands-on, hands-on uh, workshop, you know. I imagine he can do 200 experiments in a day's time. Yes. You know, on electronics, on magnets, and several others, you know. Uh, he can do that, and uh, we are employing his services to, to, to go to schools and uh, promote this uh, as a part of establishing a science culture. What is the timeline for this project of yours? It's a very good program. Oh, when do you expect to get there, it off the ground? There is no regular, uh, no regular budget, no regular program. Uh, no? It only comes when it comes. Yes, yes. <laughs> when invited by the school or uh, saying uh, the principal and something, he can, he, he can make some lectures. But no, no, no permanent, no <coughs> regular program. Yan masakit. So government has to do that, no? Yes. Because it has to, government has to, Play a lot, play a lot, because it is provided in our constitution. Yes, yes. You no, know? Article 14, Section 10 to 13. Yes. Na science and technology are essential to national progress and prosperity. For sure, and, and, and government has the resources; they have the reach. That's why they, they, they can really contribute yeah, a lot. Yeah. Definitely. That's why there is no prosperity to talk about because kaya, it, uh, science and technology. Kaya, uh, you know, to be honest with you, Mr. Madanza, kaya sumasakit yung loob ko ni hear things like this. Because, <laughs> you know, there's so much resources. Even our lawmakers have yeah. so many, so much resources at their disposal na yeah. marangkahan yes. lang kung saan saan napupunta, hindi naman pupunta sa tama. Wala. Ito yung, ito yung isang advocacy na kailangan ng bayan natin na neglected. As you said, zero. Uh -huh. this, in the, the Philippine Inventors Commission abolished during Boy. Corey's time, no? So, something has to be done, really. Yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Um, Tama yun, no? uh, to us, even though we say uh, uh, it is our right, but there has to be, there's that <coughs> responsibility to begin with. If we're going to do it, probably we could start from ourselves. Yes. If yes. we cannot uh, depend on the government to do it for us, then we're going to start it from ourselves and trying to explore how we could help. Now, as uh, president of uh, FIS, Philippine Investor Society, what do you have? Do you have any plans and programs for this year, Mr. Modanza? To oh, yes. Uh, the legislative agenda. Aside from that, aside from the agenda in Congress. Uh, and uh, we are trying to reach out no, some forgotten inventors, not only in Metro Manila, but out there in far-flung places, rural areas. This is part of organization. No? Um, and, and also, we are linking with the uh, Asia Pacific Inventors Association, I, in, in 1995, we were, we, were, we were trying to initiate an organization in the Asia Pacific. In fact, I was voted as the DG, Director General. Walang follow-up kasi walang support na ng gobyerno. Yes. What can the Filipino Inventor Society without support? Even from, some, uh, from the members, no? Kaya, <coughs> kaya it takes a lot of organizing, no? And, uh, and, uh, and 
but that's an asset say. already for your group because of if you have an international organization, I mean, like network yeah. behind you, and they are in a position to really be of tremendous help as well. And in fact, I was saying earlier that uh, the signatory to Patent Cooperation Treaty was the initiative of the Philippine Inventor Society, and we wish that a Patent Cooperation Treaty will be established the, within the ASEAN, if not within the Asia Pacific Basin. Within ASEAN is very timely now because yeah. the CM yes. is the start of the Asia, ASEAN, yes. ASEAN economic, economic, economic integration. Oh. Yes. This is very, very timing talaga. Kaya dapat talaga, eh, namin ito. Tinututukan namin ito. And we are also linking up with some organizations, no, industries, because uh, an even academ, University of the Philippines, is very interested in coming out with a national policy on industrialization, manufacturing, set up natin. So, yun. And you guys really have a, a, a huge role to play of in, course, in nation course. building, in economic development, in yeah. progress, because of the strategic uh, position that you're in now. In terms of innovation, creativity, R&D. You know, buddy, we need you. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're, we're here to help. Similar, definitely. and other people like in your, you know, like in your state. No, that can support because, wala. Kulang ng, kulang ng resources. Yes. Um, before we go, uh, Mr. Sure. Madanza, Mr. Alvarez, would you like to say something? Maybe from the uh, president first and then the chairman. Okay. Mr. President. You know, I learned, I learned a poem. Just a case, one lang, maliit lang. For luck of an inventor, an invention was lost. For luck of an invention, a product was lost. For luck of a product, an industry was lost. <coughs> For luck of an industry, thousands of jobs were lost. Ano pang na lost? An OFW, some of our OFWs. Because we have not been able to establish industries that are science and technology based. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. How about you, uh, Mr. Alvarez? Okay, uh, it's uh, so fortunate of us that we are, uh, we are guested here. Uh, and we would like to uh, inform the public that uh, we need support. We are from the Filipino Inventor Society. The inventors uh, must be supported. There are quite a, a small, quite a number of small inventors. Lucky that I have uh, this technology that's been marketed yep. for about years now. But with a few equally important inventions also, but they don't have funding to begin with. And uh, that's precisely the reason why we're asking the public to more or less assist. And government, of course, number of course, one. number one. They're very well uh, said, to, very well to said. provide us. Very well said. Kind. Well, co uh, again, um, more power to you gentlemen, to the Thank Philippine Inventor Society, and of course, more power to your wonderful product, Mr. Yeah. Alvarez. Thank you. And rest assured, we will be here in GNN and in, on my show to, to promote and to support whatever activities that you gentlemen have in the future. Almo, this is our advocacy. We believe in this and we believe in you guys. So more power to you guys. More power to, to GNN. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed our show today about Philippine Inventors. Join us again next week here on Philippines Uncut, where we talk about what matters to you guys, because you guys... Matter the most. I'll see you next week.